Hello there, how you doing? Joe here and welcome to another episode of Make It Happen Monday. I hope that you have had a fantastic week over the last week and are ready for action this week. So what are we talking about today? Well, as you can tell over the last few weeks, we've had a bit of a theme going, which is of course lead generation and building out your email funnel. So I get this question so many times. People email me or get me on social media and say, Joe, what am I supposed to send people? Once somebody has signed up to my list, once they're in my email funnel, what am I supposed to send them? What, you know, how do I build that relationship? What do they want to hear? Well, of course, only you can actually answer that question. And it goes all the way back to episode 59, I think it was, when I talked to you about creating your customer avatar. Um, And then I think, gosh, I'm now really going for my memory banks on which episode it was, I can't remember, but it was all about creating the questions that your customer would want the answers to. So sitting down and writing out that big list of questions um, on the problems and the challenges that your customers are having that you can then solve with your content. So what are you doing? Have you got a blog post? Have you got a podcast? Are you doing video marketing? What new content are you producing and publishing that you can then email out to your list? So that's one of the first things you wanna be thinking about emailing, any new content that you are creating. Now it doesn't have to be that complex. If you don't have a podcast or a video blog or a blog or anything like that, but you have a Facebook page, perhaps what you're doing on a daily basis is you're posting a new article on your Facebook page where you can grab the link to that article and you can put that in an email and send it out to your list. Hey, so-and-so and so-and-so, I've just created this amazing article on Facebook. It's all about how to do XXX. Go and read it, come and comment on it, come and tell your friends about it. That's actually a great way to create engagement with your uh, social media content and a great way to get your audience back involved in what you're doing on the webosphere. And of course, then they can share that and that's going to give you lots of social shares, etc. And it doesn't have to be Facebook. It might be a tweet you've done on Twitter. It might be an image you've done on Instagram. It doesn't matter, but you can grab the link to that and you can email that out to your customers. Maybe you've got a webinar coming up and you want to tell your customers all about your webinar. So you can email them about that. Maybe you're going to do a Facebook live stream, something I haven't really dipped my toes into yet. And you want to tell your audience all about your Facebook live stream. So you can email them about that. Maybe you can run a contest giving away a prize. If you don't have a prize, you can approach other people in your industry or niche and ask them if you can give away something of theirs giving them exposure at the same time as you and your brand. So you can email them about that. And also there's just the good old fashioned, send them an email and tell them a story. You don't have to link to anything all the time. You could just literally have an email series that talks about you, talks about how you've got to where you are in your business, talks about some of the problems you've had along the way and how you've solved them all the time remembering that every piece of content you create must answer their questions. Don't just write about you for your sake. You need to answer other people's questions. What challenges are they having? What problems are they encountering? And how can you solve those with your content? So your emails might simply be your articles. And then you can take those emails, you can copy and paste them onto your social media sites, or you can copy and paste them onto your blog post, or you could turn that into a video, or you could turn that into an audio and create a podcast. It's all about repurposing the content, right? Did an episode about that as well. So there's some ideas on what you can do to follow up and build and nurture those relationships with your customers. It's not always about sell, sell, sell. What's the next offer? What's the next discount? What's the next launch? What's the next thing? You know, get to know your customers. Another great email, ask questions. How can I help you today? What's something that's happening in your business that you need help with right now? Respond, tell me, ask me questions that I can then answer via email, via blog posts, via videos, however you want to answer those questions. So your challenge for this week, should you choose to accept it, is to write yourself a list of different email subjects that you can send out to your email. And you know, don't just write the list, do it. Make it happen. That's what this video series is all about. Write a couple of really good solid emails and get them sent out to your email list, no matter how big, no matter how small. 
just start talking to them don't let it go for months on end where you don't talk to them start right now and make it happen this week thank you very much for watching i do hope that you have found this very useful come and have a chat with me in the comments below tell me what some of the challenges you are having right now so that i can make lots of videos on the questions that you want to ask me um, I can't wait to have a chat with you. Have an amazing week ahead. Get out there and take action. Live life on purpose. And as always, of course, make it happen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.